The world is full of spine-chilling secrets that have yet to be uncovered. As people continue to explore the most mysterious places on Earth, they're sometimes shocked by what they're able to find. From a mass frog graveyard to a two-headed porpoise, here are the 20 most terrifying things recently uncovered. Number 20. Trophy Rack of Skulls In a remote cave in Mexico, authorities made an unsettling discovery, a large collection of human remains arranged in a jumbled mass. They treated the site like a crime scene, but when they conducted their investigation, they realized that what they found was of archaeological importance. The 150 skulls found in the Frontera Kampala cave date back to the period between 900 and 1200 CE. These skulls are believed to be the remnants of a ritualistic practice known as Tzompantli, commonly observed in Aztec, Maya, and Mesoamerican civilizations. The Tzompantli resembles a giant abacus, and it was constructed using wooden beams adorned with rows of skulls skewered on horizontal poles. This macabre display served as a powerful symbol of conquest and control. It was a means for rulers to showcase their military prowess, dominance, and authority. While the exact purpose and ritual surrounding the Tzompantli may never be fully deciphered, researchers continue to delve into the archaeological evidence and historical accounts to unravel the mystery. Number 19. Mass Frog Graveyard in England Archaeologists were perplexed when they uncovered a vast trove of frog skeletons. There were more than 8,000 bones in all, piled up and preserved in a single 46-foot-long ditch. The bizarre mass grave was right beside the site of an Iron Age settlement that was inhabited between 400 BC and 43 AD. Although it's not surprising to find some frog bones at ancient sites, archaeologists are baffled by the sheer quantity of those found in the ditch. The majority of the bones belong to the common frog and common toad, species found in garden ponds across the country. Since the remains didn't have cuts or burn marks, it was unlikely that frogs were eaten by the ancient inhabitants. Perhaps the frogs were drawn to the area by the promise of abundant food. Traces of charred grain discovered near the site indicated that the place could have attracted pests such as aphids and beetles, which frogs are known to eat. This could have led to a large congregation of frogs in the vicinity. Another explanation is that frogs may have fallen in the ditch and became trapped. It's known that frogs travel in large numbers in spring as they search for breeding waters. It's possible that during their migration, they accidentally fell into the ditch and were unable to escape. It's not really clear what happened in the ditch all those years ago, but it's surely a terrible tragedy for the frogs. Number 18. Neanderthal Horror Story It's frightening to imagine what humans are capable of doing during desperate times. Over 120,000 years ago, Neanderthals went through extreme challenges when temperatures abruptly rose and significantly changed the landscape of their homes. In order to cope, they resorted to a survival strategy that seems horrific to us today. Researchers once discovered the remains of six Neanderthals in a small cave in southern France. The bones had cut marks made by stone tools and showed signs of dismemberment. It was clear that the six Neanderthals were eaten and the culprits were some of their own. Researchers believed that the horrific act was brought about by desperate circumstances. The drastic change in the environment made it difficult for Neanderthals to acquire food. Accustomed to hunting large prey, they struggled to adapt to the new conditions. Analysis of tooth enamel from the remains revealed stress lines typically associated with periods of stress, illness, or malnutrition. While other hominids exhibited this type of behavior for cultural or ritualistic purposes, this Neanderthal group in particular was driven by necessity and their will to survive. Number 17. Cryptic Carvings Along Lawrence Brook Along the banks of the Lawrence Brook, strange symbols and cryptic carvings have captured the imagination of those who have come across them. These enigmatic etchings, created by Elias Soydam and Henry Monroe Danbury in 1876, have sparked endless speculation about their meaning and purpose. The carvings along Lawrence Brook display a range of symbols and inscriptions, including the carver's names, the words Red Rover, skulls, navigational coordinates, a compass, and even a mysterious cipher. Local historian Ann Alvarez investigated the carvings, and she learned that Red Rover is associated with a famous pirate novel at that time. There was also a real-life pirate who was known as the Red Rover. Could these symbols be a hidden treasure map, leading to a fortune waiting to be discovered? Furthermore, Alvarez followed the coordinates left by Soydam and discovered another rock covered with inscriptions. Curiously, 
One of the symbols on this rock was identified as belonging to the Fraternal Order of Masons. As the mystery deepens, another piece of the puzzle emerges in the form of two stone blocks found in the Buklu Tunnel. These blocks bear the names of Suidam and Danbury, along with X marks and yet another symbol associated with the Royal Archmasons. It's known that two prominent owners of the Buklu Mansion held high positions within the Fraternal Order of Masons, adding another layer of intrigue to the story. Interestingly, the Lawrence Brook carvings are located in an area that was once a steamboat dock. Nearby, a house owned by whaleboat captain and privateer Adam Hyler stands as a reminder of the Revolutionary War. Hyler and his men were notorious for seeking out British ships to capture for the American cause, earning him a reputation akin to that of a pirate. Piecing together the fragments of information surrounding the Lawrence Brook carvings, Historian Anne Alvarez believes that the carvings reference Adam Hyler and a hidden treasure worth millions of dollars in today's time. The Lawrence Brook, with its strategic location as the last accessible brook before New Brunswick via the Raritan River, becomes a plausible hiding place for such a treasure. Unfortunately, many of the Lawrence Brook carvings have eroded, so it's uncertain if the mystery would ever be solved. Number 16. Octopus Has Nightmares have you ever wondered if animals dream in their sleep? Scientists may have captured evidence of this phenomenon while they were studying this little octopus named Costello. When Costello was first brought to the scientists, it was obvious that he had a rough life. Three of his arms were badly damaged, likely due to an unfortunate run-in in the wild. Costello was brought to the lab and placed in a tank with a tiny, non-predatory fish. One morning, researchers noticed that the octopus's tank was filled with ink. They felt really curious because octopuses typically expel ink as a defense mechanism against predators. There weren't supposed to be any threats in his tank. Researchers quickly reviewed the tapes from the cameras pointing at the tank. That's when they made an intriguing discovery. In the footage, Costello was sleeping peacefully when he started moving frantically. There was nothing there that could have provoked him, but there he was, spinning around and expelling ink. He looked like he was in pain, but after a while, he got up and was calm again. It was like nothing strange had just happened. According to scientists, Costello's odd behavior was very similar to the behavioral responses of humans to nightmares and night terrors, leading them to believe that the octopus could have had a bad dream. Apparently, it's possible for octopuses to have nightmares too. Number 15. Rise of Resistant Ringworm The fungal infection ringworm has become a cause for concern in recent years. While it's typically treated with antifungal creams, there have been cases where these types of treatment no longer worked. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or CDC, recently reported the first such cases in the United States. The first case of a highly contagious and medication-resistant ringworm infection was identified in a 47-year-old woman who had recently traveled to Bangladesh. Upon further investigation, it was known that her disease was caused by a relatively new species called Trichtophyton endotinae. This particular fungus has been spreading rapidly in South Asia, likely due to the overuse of medications to treat fungal infections. Shortly after the first case was identified, a second case emerged in a 28-year-old woman from New York City. Unlike the first case, this patient had not traveled outside the United States, indicating that the resistant fungus may already be present locally. While these cases are currently isolated, it raises questions about the potential for widespread problems in the future. Number 14. Dagger in the Playground A school playground isn't a place where you'd want to find weapons lying around, but this is not really preventable, especially if the weapon has been secretly buried there for thousands of years. During a routine playtime at the school's playground, Elise stumbled upon an object that looked really cool in her eye. She picked it up excitedly, and her teacher soon noticed that she was holding something interesting. Realizing that it could be an important artifact, the teacher notified the Vestland County Council about the young girl's discovery. The object turned out to be a flint dagger from the Neolithic era, dating back approximately 3,700 years. The flint dagger was one of the earliest tools mastered by humans. It was a hard and sharp substance that can be used in preparing food and even to perform surgery. Archaeologists attempted to search for more artifacts at the schoolyard, but they weren't able to find anything significant. This made the accidental discovery of the flint dagger an even more special find. Number 13. Spines Threaded Onto Posts In the Chincha Valley of Peru, researchers unearthed a spine-chilling site. Almost 200 human spines threaded onto reed posts. 
This particular ritualistic practice appears frightening, and the story behind it reveals a tragic tale of cultural upheaval and resilience. The Chincha Kingdom was once a powerful kingdom that had an alliance with the mighty Inca Empire. They had fascinating belief systems and cultural practices, including artificial mummification predating the ancient Egyptians by millennia. However, the arrival of European colonizers marked a turning point in the region's history. The population plummeted from over 30,000 heads of household to a mere 969 within a span of five decades. Widespread looting of indigenous graves occurred during this period. As European colonizers ravaged these sacred sites and destroyed their mummies, indigenous groups attempted to salvage what remained of the decimated remains to create new ritual objects. The human spines threaded onto the reed posts may be their way of reconstructing the damaged dead and restore their bodily integrity. Number 12. Statue of the Maya Deity of Death In the dense jungles of southeastern Mexico, experts were conducting excavations for a new intercity train line near the city of Canuas. As they were doing so, they found an ancient stone statue that dates back over 1,400 years. This spooky effigy, carved out of limestone, depicts a seated figure of a Maya death deity. The god of death is known as Sizen, or Kisan. The name Sizen translates to stinking one, emphasizing the deity's association with decay and the afterlife. Depictions of Sizen in Maya art often portray him wearing a distinctive death collar. This collar consists of a necklace made of disembodied eyes, intricately tied together by their nerve cords. It symbolizes the all-seeing nature of the god, and serves as a reminder of the omnipresence of death. In other representations, Sizen appears as a dancing skeleton, holding a cigar-like object emitting smoke. The stone statue was discovered in close proximity to the archaeological site of Balamku, a pre-Hispanic city nestled within the Campeche jungle. Balamku comprises three distinct complexes, with the largest one known as the Temple of the Jaguar. The discovery of the Death Deity statue adds to the ever-growing collection of ancient Maya relics unearthed at the site, shedding light on the spiritual practices and artistic expressions of this enigmatic civilization. Number 11. Sign of Ancient Punishment Sometime between 130 and 360 CE, a man met his bitter end through crucifixion in what is now Cambridgeshire, England. The skeleton, referred to as Skeleton 4926, was discovered during a dig conducted for a construction project. The remains showed that there was a nail hammered through the man's heel bone, a telltale sign of this ancient punishment. Crucifixion, a method of execution that originated in Persia between 300 and 400 BCE, was adopted by the Roman Empire. Crucifixion was considered a shameful form of punishment reserved for specific groups, such as enslaved individuals, Christians, foreigners, political activists, and disgraced soldiers. Victims could suffer for hours to days before succumbing to their fate. The condition of Skeleton 4926 provided harrowing insights into the severe suffering endured by the crucified individual. This finding provides valuable insight into the presence of crucifixion in the region during the Roman era. Number 10. Wreck of USS Indianapolis The USS Indianapolis stands as a symbol of sacrifice and survival. This renowned Navy cruiser, which played a crucial role in delivering the components for the atomic bomb Little Boy, was sunk by a Japanese submarine in the waning days of the war. The ship's wreckage lay undiscovered for 72 years until a team using remote-operated vehicles and sonar located it in the North Pacific Ocean. In late July 1945, the USS Indianapolis embarked on a top-secret mission to deliver the components of Little Boy to Tinian in the northern Mariana Islands. After successfully completing this mission, the ship went on its way to rendezvous with other vessels preparing for an imminent attack on Japan. Unfortunately, disaster struck when Japanese submarine I-58 spotted the USS Indianapolis and launched torpedoes, dealing a fatal blow to the vessel. In a mere 12 minutes, the once mighty cruiser succumbed to the depths of the ocean. The crew's nightmare had just begun. The sinking of the USS Indianapolis went unnoticed by the Navy due to the ship's secret mission. Despite intercepting a message from the Japanese submarine about the attack, Navy intelligence dismissed it as a hoax. This meant that the 800 men that survived the sinking of the ship had to fend for themselves. For the next four and a half days, they battled against dehydration, hunger, and hungry sharks. When a spotter plane finally spotted them, more than half of the initial survivors already perished. Only 317 men were rescued from this horrifying incident. 
After more than seven decades, the wreckage of the sunken USS Indianapolis was finally found at a depth of 18,000 feet, a solemn testament to the ship's final resting place. Number 9. Grave of One of the First Black Death Victims A team of researchers studying the origin of the Black Death made a groundbreaking discovery that may finally solve the centuries-old mystery. It all started when Philip Slavin found an engraving on a medieval tombstone near Lake Isik Kul in present-day Kyrgyzstan. The inscription noted that the person buried there died of pestilence. When other researchers studying the Black Death learned about Slavin's findings, they had a hunch that the grave could have belonged to one of the first victims of the plague. The researchers then worked together to test their hypothesis. They examined ancient DNA from the plague victims, establishing a direct link to the bacterium Yersinia pestis, the cause of the Black Death. Furthermore, this strain of Y. pestis was found to be ancestral to all the strains that wreaked havoc across Europe a decade later. Many of the buried individuals were found with valuable items such as pearls, coins, and goods from the Indian Ocean, the Mediterranean, and Iran. These possessions suggest that some of the victims were traders, transporting their wares across vast distances. This could have been instrumental in the spread of the disease all the way to Europe. Number 8. The Fierce Slasher Dolphin In the vast realm of the ancient oceans, a mysterious creature once roamed the waters. An extraordinary predatory dolphin with strange teeth lived approximately 25 million years ago during the late Oligocene epoch. Recently, a near-complete skull of this enigmatic creature called Nehohe Matakoi was discovered in a museum collection in New Zealand, shedding light on its peculiar characteristics. The skull of N. Matakoi measured about two feet in length. Upon closer examination, scientists discovered a striking dental arrangement that sets this ancient dolphin apart from its modern counterparts. Towards the face, the jaw has regular vertical teeth, while closer to the snout, long and flat teeth protrude horizontally. These teeth create a menacing appearance that hints at the creature's predatory nature. Unlike many modern dolphins, this ancient creature had neck bones that weren't fused, granting it a greater range of motion. This increased flexibility in the neck would have facilitated the thrashing of prey, delivering powerful blows that could incapacitate potential meals. The combination of the flat jutting teeth and the agile neck suggests that N. Matakoi was a formidable predator. Number 7. Two-Headed Porpoise Dutch fishermen in the North Sea were shocked when they saw a bizarre creature caught in their beam trawl net. It was a two-headed porpoise. Knowing that they just found something incredibly rare, they immediately took photos of the deceased mammal. However, they also feared that it would be illegal to keep such an extraordinary animal so they decided to put it back into the ocean. While conjoined twins have been extensively studied in humans, reptiles, and domestic animals, occurrences in wild mammals are exceptionally rare. Prior to this amazing find, only nine other cases of cetaceans with two heads had ever been reliably documented. Analyzing the photographs taken by the fishermen, scientists were able to determine that the specimen was a newborn male. The presence of an umbilical opening indicated that the two-headed porpoise died shortly after birth. Number 6. Flatworm Space Experiment An experiment on sending flatworms to space yielded some frightening results. For one, some of the worms spontaneously divided in two when they went back to Earth. Another one that was amputated suddenly grew back two heads. Yikes! What does this mean for us if we go to space? As space technology continues to progress, it becomes more and more possible for humans to travel to different astronomical objects. However, there are fears that prolonged stay in outer space where there's little or no gravity may have adverse effects on astronauts. To learn more about this, scientists conducted an experiment by sending intrepid flatworms to the International Space Station and left them there for five weeks. Since the creatures have the ability to regenerate themselves, researchers sent both whole and amputated worms to space. When the creatures returned, Scientists studied them and observed that they had an altered metabolic state. The researchers were also shocked when some of them started dividing in two or growing two heads. The change was so permanent that the offspring of the two-headed flatworm also had two heads. None of the scientists have ever seen such behavior in flatworms before. The results of the experiment show that going to space has dramatic consequences. Scientists still need to conduct more studies to learn about the specific effects of these missions on humans and how to keep astronauts safe as they travel to and from space. Number 5. Sourtoe Cocktail Tradition Lives On 
In the heart of Canada's Yukon Territory lies a small town called Dawson City, where a peculiar tradition has captured the attention of locals and tourists alike. It all began in 1973, when a colorful character named Dick Stevenson stumbled upon a frost-bitten human toe in a cabin he had purchased. Somehow, he had the strange idea to pickle the toe and place it in a shot of whiskey. Thus, the Sour Toe Cocktail was born along with the exclusive group called the Sour Toe Cocktail Club. The condition to become part of the club is fairly simple. You must drink the Sour Toe Cocktail, and your lips must touch the toe while doing so. Since its inception, several daring individuals have participated in the tradition, and the number of the exclusive club continues to grow. Dick Stevenson's passing at the age of 89 left an indelible mark on the town of Dawson City. However, the Sour Toe Cocktail tradition lives on, especially since he willed his toes to the downtown hotel specifically for the continuation of the ritual he had created. Number 4. A Meal of Ancient Humans Human history is full of dark mysteries that are difficult to look back on. Scientists have discovered a macabre aspect of our past when they found evidence of a group of hominins making a meal of one of their own. This was evidenced by cut marks on an ancient skin bone, dating back approximately 1.45 million years. The shin bone, discovered at a site in northern Kenya, presents undeniable evidence of butchering and meat separation. While the exact species of the butchers and the butchered cannot be conclusively determined, it's likely that they belong to Homo erectus, the dominant hominin in the region during that era. Based on what's known about hominins and their behavior, scientists say that the act was likely motivated by nutritional needs rather than ritualistic practices. Number 3. Fire Ant Towers Fire ants, native to the Brazilian Pantanal, are known for their remarkable resilience and adaptability. These tiny creatures have the ability to form living rafts during floods, enabling them to stay afloat for weeks at a time. But their ingenuity doesn't stop there. Once the water recedes, fire ants are capable of constructing towers reaching over 30 ants high. These towers serve as temporary shelters, providing the ants with time to rebuild their underground dwellings. A research team at Georgia Tech set out to study how fire ants build their towers. They observed and recorded the process for hours, resulting in very freaky footage. Watching this just gives me the chills. Unlike the coordinated efforts of a construction crew, fire ants do not appear to use any specific plan or demonstrate leadership when building their towers. Instead, they rely on a set of simple behavioral rules. The ants crawl along their fellow ants until they find an open spot, then link themselves together to form the tower. As more ants join in and follow these rules, the tower grows taller, with a thick base that gradually narrows. The sinking of the tower occurs because the ants at the bottom of the structure give up when the weight becomes too much to bear. They walk away and climb up the sides of the tower, eventually finding new positions at the top. This process repeats itself, with the ants constantly rebuilding the structure. Number 2. DNA used to store a video Scientists have achieved another remarkable feat after experimenting with DNA in bacterial cells. They have encoded a motion picture into the DNA of living bacteria cells. While previous studies have successfully stored data, including movies and DNA, this is the first time researchers have encoded and played back a video in living bacterial cells, specifically E. coli. The team of researchers involved in this experiment envision a future where living cells can serve as molecular recorders, capturing and preserving unseen biological developments inside the body. They envision a biological memory system that's smaller and more powerful than the technology we have today. To test their idea, the researchers converted every pixel of a horse animation into a DNA code, representing different configurations of the nucleobases A, C, G, and T. They utilized the gene editing technology CRISPR to embed this sequence of information into the genome of E. coli. Each day, a new frame of the animation was added to the bacteria, and then the team allowed the bacteria to divide and multiply over the course of a week, passing the movie on to successive generations. After a week, the researchers extracted DNA regions from a sample of the bacteria and sequenced them. To their delight, they were able to play back the encoded movie with 90% of the information still intact. This successful test demonstrates that living cells can record and retain information in sequence, which can be extracted and reviewed if needed. I wonder if DNA would become the next cloud storage in the future. And now it's time for today's topic. 
Scientists have allegedly made a new discovery at the Grand Canyon that shocked and scared them. It speculated that they discovered a sarcophagus similar to those found in Egypt. And what's more astonishing was that it contained an unidentifiable creature. They couldn't determine its species even after analyzing the remains, leading others to believe that it could be an ancient alien. It has long been rumored that the Grand Canyon was home to a secret civilization that had a culture similar to the Egyptians. Could it be possible that the inhabitants were actually aliens? Number 1. Alien Doorway Spotted on Google Earth This strange figure that looks like some sort of doorway has sparked curiosity and speculation on the internet. It wasn't long before people started sharing their wild theories. As with any place that looks mysterious and remote, people started speculating that this structure is a top-secret doorway leading to an alien hideout. Others believe that it's an underground tunnel leading to an ancient civilization, such as the Egyptians. Supporters of the Egyptian hypothesis drew attention to the historical accounts that suggest the Grand Canyon once harbored an underground Egyptian civilization. Explorers reported discovering caves filled with suspected Egyptian artifacts. However, due to the lack of documented evidence, these accounts remained speculative and the caves were never located again. The world can be a terrifying place, especially with all of its dark and mysterious secrets. What are some of the scary discoveries that really intrigued you? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.